What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King of the Golden State coming at you with a slab video. Yes, uh, a bunch of slabs I got from CGC, which I kind of let pile up so I can make myself another one of these awesome, spectacular videos. And uh, without further ado, let's get started, guys. Show you what I uh, picked up and got slabbed, or you know, things that just got transferred from raw and just put into a slab case. Starting with this one here. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man number four. Uh, let's see if I get that in the picture. And uh, that's the first appearance of Sandman. Um, yeah, I got this one raw to begin with, and it was kind of a mess a little bit. So I had to send it in to uh, uh, Rocket Comics to get uh, the spine roll taken out and uh, get it pressed. And it came back at 5.5, five, so definitely something I'm happy about. And, uh, yeah, it didn't take too long to get it uh, put in a slab and ready for your presentations. But, uh, yeah, I love it. Presents very well. And uh, I kind of wanted to, I mean, I know Stan Lee's going to make a couple appearances this year at a couple of cons. I was thinking about getting this one signed, but I don't know. I'm going to say that for another video. That's one of those things where it's like, I have issue right now with Stan Lee at his age signing my comic books. But that's a whole different story. But this one came back at 5.5. Five. And what I was just talking about was neither here nor there. Uh, other things I got in. Got in a... Or V, actually. Amazing Spider-Man number 300. It's another Amazing Spider-Man number 300. My other one's a 9-0. Uh, this one is a 9-2. So I'm trying. I'm getting up higher. Uh, you know, uh, this one I bought raw off of uh, 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 somebody off of Instagram. And uh, it looks great. Honestly, I got it pressed and uh, came back in 9-2. Um, actually, it looks better in my 9-0, personally. Um, I don't know. I might give myself another copy and try to, uh, you know, I don't know. I think I might just get like another copy and call it, call it a day after that, but hopefully a higher grade. You know, hopefully it's more about around nine, six, if I'm lucky a nine, eight, but I just love the amazing Spider-Man 300. It's one of my favorite covers ever, you know, but, uh, yeah, there's that. Also. I also have this one here, which is uh, one of many, but uh, this one I bought from uh, my comic shop at a, and it was rated a 4.0, which is kind of funny how it's rated a 4.0, and um, got it pressed and cleaned and came back at 6.5, surprisingly. I mean, look at the spine roll. I mean, the spine roll's still, like, right there, you know, it's clearly evident, you know, and I had it taken out, and it must have been, you know, it must have been still pretty bad but you got a little crease down here on the bottom and the spine roll which I guess is better than it was before but this thing is believe it or not rated a 4.0 on my comic shop so feel free to go through my comic shop and see if you can find stuff there that you know that you might find a grade that you disagree with and get it pressed because it might be higher you know that happened for it that happened for another book um for me in the same situation it was a new Mutants 87 first appearance of um of cable and I bought that one, and it was rated about a 7.5 or an 8. And then once, you know, after I sent it in to get pressed, it came back a 9.6. So whoever's doing the rating over, or the grading over at uh, mycomicshop.com might want, might want to reevaluate what they do in life. But there's that. Also, I was over in Arizona about a couple months ago, and I bought this one raw. And, um... You know, it got pressed out, but some things didn't come out of it. They got pressed. But uh, I got it pressed and clean and slapped. And it's Daredevil number two. And it's the first appearance of Electro. Or no, sorry, not first appearance. Second appearance of Electro. Uh, also, it's actually the second appearance of both Electro and Daredevil. So um, there was this big old like, line crease here in the, on the cover. Um, it was worse than it was before. I got it pressed as best as possible, but... Overall, it presents very well. I like it a lot. So, to see it come back a 5-0 makes me really happy. And also, you know, you can't have one without the other. So, this one I got over at the uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con uh, earlier on this year. And this is the uh, Daredevil number one. Um, I think that is like a subscription crease right in the middle. God, that's got to be nuts. But, it's not too bad. I mean, you know, this one I got for a pretty decent price. Got it pressed out and cleaned. And it actually looks pretty damn good. I mean, you know, and I never had a Daredevil number one. 
and have it as a, you know, the way it is, it's pretty cool. So, you know, I mean, it's got the uh, unicorn jizz marks crap on there. There's a, another friend of mine mentioned, but I like it. Uh, first appearance, Daredevil. First appearance, you know, of uh, Karen Page and Foggy Nelson. And, uh, yeah, I uh, got it for a pretty decent price. Got it pressed, and now it's back. Looks great. So, got that. Also, a few other things, guys, before we're done. Got a uh, Journey into Mystery, number 84, which I'm sure you guys know is the second appearance of Thor and the first appearance of Jane Foster, a.k.a. Natalie Portman, which is still funny. It's like, I don't know, I, I kind of wish she still played in some of these movies, but whatever. Um, I like this. I got this. I, ma I made a uh, trade off another Instagrammer, you know, a really cool guy. And, um, you know, we, you know, we traded off books and, uh, you know, I had a first appearance of, uh, Thanos and he gave me a first, a uh, second appearance of Thor and I thought everything worked out. I mean, but I just love this cover. It's really cool looking. Hopefully eventually, eventually I'm going to end up getting a, uh, first appearance of Thor. I mean, getting a journey into mystery 84 is a good start. So, uh, yeah, uh, there is that at a 4.5 nonetheless, creamed off white pages. Also, this came in, I'm a, this is a grade I'm a little disappointed in. I kind of wish this one came back a better grade. But, you know, I guess they know more than I do. But, uh, got Star Wars, uh, number one. Uh, this is a 8.5. I was hoping for at least a 9.0. And to see it come back at this grade is kind of disappointing, in my, in my opinion. But it still looks nice. I mean, uh, still throws me off that Darth Vader's got this green mask. But, uh... I like it. I mean, it's a classic cover, you know, um, by Howard Chaikin, uh, Roy Thomas story. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I might, I might, I might consider looking around for a higher grade of star Wars number one, but 8.5, I guess I'm fine with it, but you know, slightly disappointed nonetheless. Also at Silicon Valley comic con. I also got a, uh, you know, I got a couple books signed, and one of the things I got signed and got photographed with was, um, of, uh, I got a photograph with, um, uh, Robert England, and also he signed my, uh, my slab to the, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street number one, and this one's a little big here, let me see if I can back it up a little, uh, let's see if I can adjust the camera just a little bit, there we go, uh, this one came back a 9.6, uh, I think I may have shown this on a previous video before, but I like showing this one. It's a great, it's a great slab, and uh, it still cracks me up how he signed this book when it was raw, and you know he's he, he kind of flung it, but no more of a joyfully fling. It wasn't like you know here it was kind of like here you go kid, you know stay in school kind of fling. But um, yeah, got it pressed and got it you know slabbed and it came back in nine six surprisingly. I thought after he kind of like signed it and just kind of flipped it to me, I was like. Man, this thing's gonna come back like a seven or a six and a half now, but uh, no, surprisingly, a nine six after pressing. I'm surprised by that. And uh, yeah, signed by Robert England, the guy who pretty much haunted my nightmares when I was a kid. You know, so there's that. And also one last book, guys. This is the one I have. This is definitely a grail of mine, and is one of the things I wanted to take off my list before the movie came out. If you guys haven't guessed already. Brave and a Bold 28. This is the first appearance of the Justice League of America. And, uh, yeah, came back at 3.5 off-white pages. And, uh, it's not perfect. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, it's still a colorful, still a colorful, colorful book. You know, presents very well. It's funny how I see Starro, the Conqueror, the whole signal thing in the middle. I keep thinking they're fighting Captain America for some crazy reason. I don't know. I keep seeing that. Like, man, that's Captain America's insignia. But, uh. Yeah, it's still funny. Um, yeah, uh, I bought this off of another website, a friend of mine who, who owns a bunch of comic books. So, um, picked it up, and here we are. You know, also, you know, it, it presents pretty decent. I mean, it's got a couple of marks here on the corner, on the side here where Aquaman is. But who cares about Aquaman? Aquaman ain't shit. But you know, um, yeah, guys, that's it. That's about it. Uh, I got another more here. I just wanted to share with you guys on what I have and uh, go from here. Um, yeah, if you guys liked uh, the slab videos, 
I, I would, you know, please give it a thumbs up. G give it a thumbs up. Um, also, you know, feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. No shame in doing either one of those. Um, yeah, uh, this is all. This is pretty much all the stuff I picked up that wasn't at the San Diego Comic Con because I didn't go to San Diego Comic Con. If you guys haven't noticed, so uh, pretty much. The stuff I spent on this comic is pretty much my San Diego Comic Con money, so I said, "Screw it, I'm gonna give myself a nice key, and uh, and uh, live my life, basically." <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, uh, I got nothing else. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.